This Strand Hunter build has it all. We can absolutely dominate the battlefield by slamming four times in a row and suspending everything in sight. We can literally get half our super back with one grapple melee thanks to our mod setup and the Hunter Strand Super is the highest DPS super in the game currently. And then on top, we get 60% damage resist, health regeneration, and volatile rounds. We also have insane ability regeneration, so you can repeat the core gameplay loop effortlessly. I'm not exaggerating in that this is probably the strongest Strand build out there currently. Dim link for the build will be in my Discord, link for which will be in the comments or description below. At the heart of the build are the forgotten Hunter boots, the Radiant Dance Machines, which when you dodge near an enemy, it gives you 6 seconds of time to spam as many dodges as you want. Combine this with the Aspect Ensnaring Slam, this lets you slam down from my testing up to four times in a row and suspend every enemy on the battlefield. Thanks to our Fragment, Thread of Mind, when we defeat these enemies which are suspended, we get our class ability back so we can restart this dodge slam gameplay loop very easily. I found that the Radiant Dance Machines were much more devastating in suspending every enemy in sight, including champions, than something like Sixth Coyote, which gave two charges of your dodge Ability. Once we've suspended our enemies, we can then use our grapple to swing in and destroy them with our melee. The grapple melee is unique in that it benefits from both melee mods and grenade mods, so we can take advantage of this to generate tons of super energy. Just look here, I get over 50% of my super energy with just one grapple melee. It's actually ridiculous. The way we do this is through our helmet, we stack two ashes to assets and one hands on so we get triple the amount of super energy per grapple melee kill. We can also generate two orbs of power thanks to the same trick. We can run both firepower and heavy handed, so we create two orbs of power per grapple melee. Not only will this further fuel our super energy, but we also use these to gain 60% damage resist through our other fragment, Thread of Warding, which grants us woven mail whenever we pick up an orb of power. These two orbs of power also lets us become armor charged and they also start health regeneration thanks to our armor mods, which I'll discuss later in the video. So let's go over the rest of my strand build that optimizes this basic gameplay loop and maximizes it. I run Gambler's Dodge so that when we start our dodge spam, we instantly gain back our threaded spike melee. You could run Marksman's Dodge for the shorter cooldown, but I absolutely hate the animation of Marksman's Dodge. We're obviously running Grapple Grenade to take advantage of the double mods. Our first aspect, as we discussed, is Ensnaring Slam which lets you suspend enemies when you dive to the ground using your class ability. Secondly, we have Widow Silk, which lets you have two charges of your grapple grenade. For our fragments, we run Thread of Mind so that we can get our class ability back when we defeat those suspended targets. Thread of Generation is just a ridiculous fragment which lets you get your grapple back really quickly just by dealing any sort of damage. Thread of Warding gives us Woven Mail and 60% damage resist when we pick up an Orb of Power and then Thread of Continuity makes the duration of Suspend lost even longer. So for our mods, as I said, on your helmet you want to run Double Ashes to Asset which is made possible thanks to our artifact and obtaining the Authorized Mods Grenade perk which reduces the cost of grenade mods to just one and then one hands-on. For our gloves, we run one firepower, one heavy-handed, and then we also run one grenade kickstart. I love using grenade kickstart with grapple as it gives you back a chunk of grenade energy infinitely when you grapple a tangle again and again. For your chest piece, you can run whatever resistance mods you want. And then for our boots, these are quite important so that we can gain health back with the build. We run one recuperation and one better already so that whenever we pick up an orb of power, we gain a chunk of health back and instantly start health regeneration. It's honestly a lifesaver with this build. We can also run one copy of insulation so that we can gain more class ability energy when we pick up an orb of power. Finally, for my class item, I run two stacks of utility kickstart to gain back even more dodge. This really comes in handy when you mess up your gameplay loop and dodge too early, not near an enemy, so you can gain back a big chunk straight away. The stat distribution for this build is pretty simple. In number one, you want 100 resilience as your highest priority for damage resist because our strand build and the mods we use regenerate so much ability energy that you can get away with low stats in literally everything else. 
if you were to want to optimize this build fully, then in number two, I'd go for mobility next to get your dodge back faster and then discipline in third to minimize grapple downtime and then finish the build off by aiming for recovery, intellect and strength in that order. So there you have it guys, my infinite suspend and infinite super hunter strand build that I'm definitely going to be taking into higher level content. It covers every single base, massive crowd control through suspend, huge DPS through our super, which we can get back really quickly, health regeneration, and finally insane ability spam. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more PvE and PvP builds as we get deeper into Lightfall. I'm Mr. Onnit, and that's it for today. Peace out, guys.